is Christmas your excuse for backing off? Every year around about now, I hear business owners start giving excuses as to why they can't work on their business. They say things like, I haven't got time, I'm too busy, I need a holiday, the salon is just too busy, I'll tackle it when it's quiet in February. The list is endless. But do you realise it's just a big fat excuse? Because let me give you a little bit of insight here. Working on your business shouldn't stop just because it's Christmas. Christmas is one day of the year. One day, it comes and goes just like every other day of the week. The only difference is that Christmas brings with it a lot of spending from your clients, new and old, and what that does is create business for you and your staff. But it's short-lived, it has an end date, and after that end date, business resumes its normal pattern, which for many salons is pretty dismal when it comes to January. So why the mindset that you can't or don't want to pay attention to what's happening in your business now before Christmas? When planning for business, we work in 90 day cycles. So what you do today has an impact on what happens 90 days from now. If you stop marketing or working on your business come February, March, you'll be complaining that it's quiet and you don't know what to do. So what I want to give you are some pointers on things you can be looking out for even when it's busy, because if your salon can't op operate well under pressure, you could be losing clients hand over fist. I can't tell you how many people have told me stories about salons not caring or that making them feel rushed or processed this time of year. Oh, and don't even start me on the telephone manner I receive from some salon receptionists. They truly make you feel like you have to apologize for even calling. It certainly doesn't inspire you to want to call back. So three tips to watch out for to maintain your reputation and image over these busy few weeks. Firstly, ensure your telephone is answered politely and all messages are returned within at least a four hour time frame if possible. Number two, do spot checks on your staff, their presentation, grooming, communication in the treatment room, how they meet and greet clients as well as how they check the client out, their ability and enthusiasm to upsell and promote other services. And number three, how well are you valuing your clients at Christmas? Are you gifting them something, offering a complimentary upgrade as a surprise or a special treat to have them remember you by? Show your gratitude to your clients for the business they have given you all year. Observing the etiquette, communication and presentation of your salon and team now can help you refine and improve how you go about business next year. How fabulous would you feel if you know you're working on these things now ahead of your competition? That's what smart and successful salons do and what I have my clients do too. If you want to get moving on your salon business now and position it for high performance and profit for the start of 2015, I have the perfect solution for you. It's by application only, easy to fit into your busy schedule and begins in December. Want to know more? All you have to do is email me back now and I'll be in touch to determine if you're the right fit. Excellence is no accident. You must take action now. This is Julie Hine wishing you salon brilliance and success.